Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, you guys know it, uh, you guys have seen different kinds of fountains, correct? How does a fountain work? Water comes out. There's a pump that makes it go back up. There's a pump that makes it go back up. It recycles water. It recycles it. What about that one we saw? People throw pennies in it. Okay, people throw pennies in it, yes. So, I have behind here a fountain. It's a special kind of fountain. You'll be awed and amazed. Drum roll, please. Okay, okay. So you said you know how it works. How does it work? There's a stick and then water going around it. Like there's, 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 there's like a tube in the middle. There's like a tube in the middle? What do you think? The water is a tube and there's light splashing to look like water. It's an illusion. You're going to need some, some vocabulary about fountains. For example, water pump. That's how it works, right? This is called a suspended fountain. I'm going to reveal a little bit more of it so you can see. Um, there's a pump down there. And like you guys are talking about, There. Need illusion, but that's how it works. So that's the basics that we need for, for the vocabulary. You're going to have to know that. Now, the next thing you need to know about. What kind of cup is that? Okay, so this is an awesome transition. Are you ready for this? What do you think of when you think of coffee? Coffee. Starbucks. Starbucks? It's kind of a problem. Okay. So that was my transition to talk about a coffee cup, by the way. That's in the, the script. So here is two coffee. Here are two coffee cups. If you look really close, you might see a difference between them. But pretend there's no difference. I'm going to show you another concept you need to know about. I'm going to fill this cup up. I'm really thirsty. Put this here. Do you think all this water will fit in here? same size. There's something in the cup? It's not bottomless. It's not bottomless? This one's bottomless? It's actually got a space in the bottom there. I don't want to spill it. What? Okay. So that little part right there that was hollow Called, it's, this is called a hollow fountain. If I made it a fountain, it'd be called a hollow fountain. So that's another term that you need to know what a hollow fountain is. It has the space down there. Why would you use a hollow fountain? To recycle the water? Would you be using more water or less water? Okay. So that's, that's a hollow fountain. Now let's talk about the coffee cup itself. This is a coffee pot. You guys seen this before? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is just like one of our coffee, cup, coffee cups here. There's three parts of this coffee cup that you need to know how to name, what, what names they're going to use. What do you call this? Any ideas? I think we're going to call that. The ridge. Ridge? What else? check out my, and then you go. Um, so yeah, that's your rim. What other things can have rims? Huh? Bike rim. Bike rims, basketball rim, yeah. All right, so this is your rim. What do you think this part is called at the bottom, this part right here? Think math. Base, yeah, we're going to call that the base. Now, what's this part called? The side. Yeah. This is actually called the cup wall. They want you to fix that as the cup wall. Okay. So we went over 
more. What's this fountain called? This one. Suspended fountain? Then when I take this, it's called a hollow fountain. And do we know the three parts of the cup? Okay, we've got the what? You guys are now ready to take your smarter balance assessment mathematics.